Transition Tuesday. I'm Jane. This is Joe. Today I choose talking about choice making. Choosing is a skill. That seems like a weird thing to say, doesn't it? But it really is a skill when you're talking about working with a person who is young, planning for the future, learning about adulting 101 things, right? Like Joe, uh, people who have struggles with verbal communication, choice making is an intentional skill building tool that you really need to practice for transition planning. So Joe and I decided that we were gonna share something that Joe recently did in terms of choice making practice um, as a result of uh, some birthday money that he got. So Joe's chair, Joe's chair is very important to him. It's his uh, transportation, it's his legs, it's his office, it's his desk at school, it's his dining room tape, uh, chair, it's, it's pretty much the most important piece of equipment Joe has. So, when we were looking at making some choices, some opportunities for choice making practice, I should say, Joe got a birthday car, uh, Amazon card for his birthday, and so he went shopping. And he uh, went shopping with his direct support person, Rebecca, and they decided on an item that he could use his gift card to purchase and that item was a bag to go on the back of joe's wheelchair right you chose this bag with your amazon card that you got for your birthday do you remember when you and rebecca did that Whoops, we got a little, little spasm going on here. It's because he's so excited about shopping. All right, do you remember when you and Rebecca chose this bag? So they chose this bag. We're going to give Joe a minute to let his spasm subside. And when it came... The next logical thing to do, I mean, what do you do with a bag? When you buy a bag, whether it's a briefcase or a purse or a tote bag, you have an intended purpose for it. So Joe and Rebecca went through and decided what Joe was gonna put in his bag. Is it okay if I show people what you chose to put in your bag? Touch my hand if that's okay. All right, we're very spastic today. And this is one of the challenges for Joe when we're asking him to make choices. Sometimes he, it's a struggle for him because of his physiological things that are going on. So um, so I'm not gonna go into it because it seems like this is a big decision for Joe, but he decided what was gonna go in the bag and we put those items in the bag. So this seems like a simple thing, but here are the skills that the practice of putting things in that, choosing the bag and then deciding what to go in the bag and then deciding where the bag would be on his wheelchair. These skills are communication, following steps, daily living skills practice, and then completing a task. 
with some, those are all skills that promote independence in somebody who's doing transition planning. So this is important. So I want to tell you that I am not making this stuff up. I am using tools from foundational um, self-determination skills that, that famous researchers, scientists created. I'm talking specifically about Michael Waymeyer, Sharon Davis, and Susan Palmer, who've done lots, I mean decades of research on helping people with disabilities build self-determination skills to be more independent as adults. So um, I'm gonna, this is the, I'm just holding it up so the recording will have it there for you, but I'm gonna read to you what, what their research says about choice making. It says, don't leave choice making opportunities to chance. Take every opportunity to allow your child to make choices, what she wears, what is served for dinner, or where the family goes for vacation. And although this is not always practical or possible, make sure that these choice opportunities are meaningful. In this case, Joe's wheelchair is an important part of what he uses to get around, to be part of the world. And so choosing a piece of equipment to go on that chair is a functional skill that, you know, is meaningful. So that's what we wanted to share with you this week. Um, thank you for joining us. We always appreciate the opportunity to share what we're working on. Even when we have a day where we've got a lot of spasticity going on, we still love seeing you and sharing uh, information with you. Um, Hope that you'll join us next time. Please subscribe to our channel, Transition Tuesdays with Jane and Joe, and we will see you next time.